first, let's uh, go to Jim, who's been watching the weather in a beautiful day. Turned out really nice today. Let me tell you where it was really nice, too. I had the opportunity to visit with some folks at Mike's Place mm -hmm. out at Meals and Wheels and more. And we combined oh. that with a therapy visit from Caxon today. He was definitely more popular. That's a program out there for uh, folks with Alzheimer's disease and other types of memory loss. It was really a nice morning. Thank you for having us out there. The afternoon uh, turned out to be a warm one. 88 is the current temperature in the Llano area right now. 83s and 84s up and down Highway 281 there in our eastern uh, hill country. And here in the metro, we're looking at temperatures also uh, 83s and 84s, but a lot of 82s there across uh, Williamson County right now and to the east. Upper 70s and low 80s. Current temperatures 84 degrees in Lockhart. Lake Travis, live as seen from our Oasis camera. I bet those folks out there in uh, boats today are really having a nice time with the warm weather, almost like summertime. 83 degrees and sunny right now. 77 is our 8 p.m. forecast, and at 10 o'clock tonight, we'll be down into the upper 60s. It's going to be a wonderful, wonderful evening because the air is still dry, so as soon as the sun gets a little lower in the sky, the temperature falls off, and it's just great. 83 right now, 82, it's clear out at ABIA. Uh, winds are southerly, less than 10 miles per hour at the present time. That sunset tonight is at 755, by the way. Here's the only bad news I have for you today, and that is the oak count is just sky high still. 5,455. Had a lot of people sneezing in my vicinity today asking me about the pollen. It's probably that oak. Could be the mold. It's high. Cottonwood, poplar, medium, and willow, medium, and a little bit of birch, and a little bit of mulberry floating around out there today, too. Around Texas, it's even warmer out in western parts of the state today. 89 San Angelo, 89 Millen right now, 91 down in Laredo, 80 in Corpus Christi, and down into the Brownsville area. Uh, hardly any clouds at all in the state of Texas right now. Our next weather maker is still days away. In fact, it's several hundred miles west of the California coast, but that's it right there. You see that spinning motion? That upper low is going to take all the way to Friday until it gets to Los Angeles. And then it'll get into West Texas by Sunday, and that will be our next chance of rain. So it is still days away. We'll begin to see the uh, effects of the storm as southerly winds and moist air flow northward ahead of it over the next several days. And to the point by Saturday and Sunday mornings, we might have some patchy fog, patchy drizzle. Then rain and thunderstorms will be a possibility mainly Sunday evening into early Monday and then turning windy and quite a bit cooler with temperatures another 10, 20 degrees below normal. In the morning, it won't be as cold as it was this morning. We had readings as cold as 35 and 36 degrees this morning, scattered about not only in the hill country, but in the coldest rural and eastern valleys this morning. Significantly milder tomorrow morning, and then tomorrow afternoon should be just as warm as today was, if not a degree or two higher. Overnight, we'll stay mostly clear. We may see some low clouds towards sunrise in the morning, and then mostly sunny to partly cloudy tomorrow. A high of 85. It's going to be a little bit windy tomorrow with the south winds increasing. And then more clouds on Friday ought to keep us at about 85 Friday afternoon. And then this weekend, as I mentioned, a little bit of fog and drizzle in the mornings. More clouds than sun. Chance of some showers and thunderstorms by Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening, possibly into Monday morning, and then quite a bit cooler. We'll be coming right back.